perfection on the ice, a life on the rink. In the interview, pairs figure skating world champions Aliona Zavchenko and Robin Chakovi. Aliona Savchenko and Robin Chakovi, thank you for joining us. You are now four times world champions, four time European champions, and have been skating together for almost 10 years. What does it take to become a world renowned figure skating team? Yeah, um <laughs> a lot of things have to come together, including, of course, the good luck of finding each other. But each of us brings a lot to the table. I can only repeat what I've heard from other people. It's enjoyable to watch us skate. Blonde hair, black hair, light skin, dark skin. Our difference in size makes it easier for us to deal with the athletic side of the sport. And we see eye to eye on the creative aspect of our routines. So when it's all said and done, we operate really well as a complete package. Yeah, each has to complement the other to make it work. Usually she's the energetic one who pushes us forward. I'm the partner who says, let's stop and think this over. And that's our mix. We learn from each other and grow as a team. What type of relationship do you have as partners? Looking from the outside in, it's as if we see two lovers dancing on the ice. For sure. On the ice, we have to show a private side. But some things should remain private. And it's the same with us. We're like brother and sister, as Robin just said. How did it begin? What's the optimal age to start in this sport? And where does the passion for it come from? You first. <laughs> I started figure skating in Erfurt when I was four years old. Of course, at four, I didn't think much about it, other than the fun factor. I had friends who skated, and we all went to the same school to study physical education in former East Germany. We all had a great time, and I was always under observation. After the first competitions for our age group, it was obvious I was at the top of my class. And that gave me the drive to take the sport to another level. Later, when figure skaters younger than me slowly started outperforming me, I thought, hey, what am I doing here? Is it worth it? And then I reached puberty. All the other kids were going to the movies and the swimming pool, but I always went to the ice rink. Luckily, I decided to commit to figure skating after I was accepted to train in Chemnitz. Chemnitz provided a terrific environment for me to develop my figure skating talents. And for me personally, it was this process of continual success that drives me. And it gives me the feeling that's personally rewarding. How difficult was it for you when you started? You were born near Kiev and had to travel long distances just to reach an ice rink. What was the beginning like and why did you decide later to move to Germany? Yes, well, it was a very difficult time. I started when I was very young. 
Dann, And then äh, my dream was so strong war so groß, äh, that I pushed ahead with it despite everything. Trotzdem, dass, äh, durch, äh, hab, Waking up äh, early, so traveling äh, long distances, äh, always trying to improve äh, myself äh, and be better äh, than the äh, others. Äh, And coming to Germany, äh, it was simply äh, always äh, my dream äh, to skate äh, for Germany. Und, ähm, ja, nach Deutschland war einfach das Traum äh, für Deutschland zu starten. Wie schwer war denn das How is it to leave one's home country and move somewhere new? What was it like to become a German citizen in 2006? auch die deutsche Staatsbürgerschaft bekam. Ja, also von einer Seite war schwer. On one hand it was very difficult to do it all by myself. Alleine zu schaffen, aber von anderer Seite ich hatte auch Unterstützung. But on the other hand I always had support from Robin from my coach and from other people. Naturally, my overriding goal was to become a successful figure skater. And this took priority over everything else. I was extremely happy when I received my German passport. Das Olympische And it was so exciting to learn that we were invited to skate for Germany ja, in the Olympics. <laughs> What does your work with Ingo Steuer mean to you? He was at your side from the beginning. He discovered you and brought the two of you together. He was also world champion in 1997 and has trained you from the beginning. What does that relationship mean to you? It's sort of like our family. We're a trio that has grown together that found each other out of different kinds of directions. In 2006, it was revealed that he worked for the former East German secret police, the Stasi. He was barred from coaching, but you fought for him to be allowed to accompany you to the Olympics and continue coaching. How was it competing after all of that? It was a really difficult period, but I don't think we were really aware of it at the time. We only had one thing on our mind, getting through it and finding a solution. But I have to admit, now that we've had time to reflect on everything that happened, It was really hard. Everything went wrong so quickly. It was a roller coaster ride. One bit of positive news could come along, and you could almost think, okay, that's it, it's going to get better from here. But then five minutes later, you'd be hit with another bit of bad news and start the whole process over again. Thankfully, throughout it all, We could take refuge in our training. We could have just said, you know what, leave us alone. And that would have been the end of it. But instead we just kept training. You could say we did our thing, put our noses to the grindstone and got to work. The experience was probably what helped us become such a strong team. Um, was, also wo jetzt it would be hard for anyone to break us up. Joachim Gauck, now the German president, met with Ingo Stoy in 2007. Gauck, who is also a pastor, said he felt Stoy regretted the actions he took as a young man and that he deserved a second chance. Why did you stand by Ingo through it all? Er hat uns halt vom ersten, von der ersten Stunde an ähm, bis, bis, bis He was with us and coached us from the very beginning. To put it simply, he made us what we are today. We wouldn't be four-time world champions, four-time European champions, and we wouldn't have done so well at the Olympics, and probably wouldn't be sitting here if it weren't for him. What are your plans for the future? What we've always done, look for something new. We've never done anything just for the Olympics, for example. Every song is important for us. Every competition is important as well. If you think there's some kind of secret recipe or top secret plan that you could use to get ahead, that's just not the case. Or at least we don't know about it because we're just too involved in our training. 
Maybe you can see a secret if you're not as involved as we are. But it's just like Iona said, we just need to focus on what we've done for the last several years because it's worked for us until now. Why should we make a drastic change? If there's a problem, then we find a solution together. Because we both have to support our plans 100% or else they'll fail. You've said that 2014 will be your last competitive year after the Olympics in Sochi. Can you imagine what life will be like without figure skating? Other people have speculated about that, but we've never come to any decision on retiring. We'll think about that later. We take everything one step at a time. First step, getting into the next Olympics. Then we'll decide how we'll go on from there. We can't say we'll retire after Sochi. We need to get there first. What do you hope to do after you retire? What should I hope for? Well, of course, I hope that someday I'll be able to tell my grandkids everything their granddad managed to do. First have children. That might be a good first step. It's definitely something you'd look back on and say that it was worth it. I'm personally happy with what we've accomplished so far. That's the most important thing. I never wanted to be someone who says, when they're in their mid-thirties or even later, man, why didn't I do something else with my life? It's important to be satisfied with your achievements. Thank you for speaking with us.